the mouse and the stone cutter once a rich man's wife was reborn as a mouse she was so attached to her riches that even after becoming a mouse she kept all the treasure near her now there was a stone cutter the mouse became his friend the mouse gave him some money to buy food from then on the stone cutter bought food for the mouse every day once a cat caught the mouse the mouse offered to give the cat food every day in return for her freedom the cat agreed soon the cat started eating a major share of the food the mouse became weak the stone cutter asked the mouse about this the mouse told him everything the stone cutter made a plan he put the mouse inside a glass box as soon as the cat jumped upon the box the glass broke and pierced the cat the cat died instantly the mouse was free then the mouse gave her treasure to the stone cutter in return for her help the quail's revenge in a forest there lived some quails one day one of the quails laid some eggs the quails came to know that an elephant was on a rampage in that area soon the elephant came to the place where the quails lived the mother quail begged the elephant please spare my young ones but the elephant did not listen to the quail and destroyed her eggs the mother wanted revenge she called her friends the crow the ant and the frog and came up with a plan first the crow plucked out the elephant's eyes then the ant started biting the elephant the elephant could not bear the pain and searched for water to wash his eyes at the same time the frog croaked close to a steep cliff the elephant thinking there was water nearby followed the sound of the frog's croaking but the elephant fell into the valley and died the quail had got her revenge the disciples faith long ago lord buddha used to give sermons to his disciples in a monastery one day one of his disciples who was coming to the monastery to hear his sermons got late on the way he had to cross the river but due to being late he missed the boat the disciple was so engrossed in the buddha's thoughts that unknowingly he stepped into the river he kept saying to himself i do not want to miss lord buddha's sermon he kept walking and walking his thoughts were only on lord buddha suddenly when he was in the middle of the river he realized that he was waist deep in water his concentration broke and he started panicking then once again he started thinking of lord buddha 
Slowly, all his fear vanished. Lo and behold, he crossed the river without any hassle. He reached the monastery and told everyone about how his faith in the Buddha had helped him. The Pigeon and the Crow A rich man had a bird house in which there lived a pigeon. The pigeon never entered the rich man's kitchen for the cook was very cruel. One day, a crow smelled the delicious food being cooked in the rich man's kitchen. He decided to befriend the pigeon and thereby enter the rich man's kitchen. So the next day, the crow became friends with the pigeon and moved into his birdhouse. The crow observed the cook making a fish stew. His mouth watered. The pigeon warned him, Stay away from the kitchen or you will regret it. But the crow paid no attention. He flew into the kitchen and picked up a fish. The cook saw him and trapped the crow. He plucked all the feathers of the crow and let him go. The pigeon was shocked to see the terrible state of the crow. He said, You should have listened to me. Greed got the better of you. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.